Hey, you know, folks, and basically, uh, it was late, and I was going to go hit the sack, but basically I went over here to uh, Canada France Y Telescope and checked this footage out and watched between the 15, the 52 second and the 53 second mark, and I think I'll be able to get it over there pretty fast. And you'll notice that uh, Rigel, and matter of fact, I just think I seen it a little bit early too, but you're going to see a wild here at the 52 and 3. The Taglius and all the supergiant stars are really looking bright. And there it was. And I'll try to get it back here. Just between the 52 and 53 mark, you'll see this flash of light up here. You see that? And I just pointed to it luckily by accident. And there was another flash all around the sky also. It's going to happen right here at the 52 and 53 second mark. And right there it was. And now I'll go to full screen. And if you watch this video, what you're going to see is just about every one of the stars. Rigel is really bright. Ategulus is really bright. And here we come, they're going to get that flash. There you go, you can't miss it. Now, what was it that flashed? And the best thing to do is be able to, you're going to be able to play this video back and forth. Alderbaran, now Jupiter's real bright, but the idea that Alderbaran, just about everything in the supergiants is showing up really bright. Alderbaran, that's it there. Jupiter looks huge. Now, Alderbaran, I believe, is bigger than Jupiter, but I'm not positive on that. I have to look it up. The Tagulus is really bright. And as you've seen that right there, there was another shot of light through the sky somewhere here. Watch. There, and there's one over there too. So I guess possibly this is uh, part of the what we're going to be seeing from the Orion going through Haley's tail, I guess. The debris. But, uh, all the barons bright, and there you go. There was just a flash right here too. Let's see if we can see what marked that's at. There it was, and we're starting to get these flashes across the sky too. That I don't think it's the airplane that came at the exact same time too. So I think we're getting that activity back. So watch the sky here. It's going to be a little bit though. Let's see if I can capture that. There it was. And then this happened. So I really don't think that. I think we're getting these again that we had before in the past and they weren't airplanes, okay? And there it was. And there it is here. So that's very unusual. And as you see, it didn't take off anywhere. And I just back it up to the 36 to 37 and watch that hit. And then, I didn't mean to do that. It's pretty easy to get back to 36. And as you see, you have planes going over, but then there's 34. Now you watch pretty much right all this area right here, and there's going to be a flash, and then there'll be that one down there. It's not an airplane. There it was. It's like at the 41, 42 mark. And there it was. By right about 40 second mark. There, bam. You can't miss it. And then we'll have the other flash over here. And there it was. And that's very major league. And I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure it's the same one I started out with seeing. There it is. 
So a wild comet or something, electrical energy no matter what, through space. Coming off of Cyrus is what's unusual. I mean, basically, I don't say it comes off Cyrus. You have to just totally freeze it, but it sure does kind of seem like it. So, that's so that's where it came out of. So, you got it right there in the footage, and this is from the 19th. So, everything was real bright, and then the sun will come up, and you'll see the artifacts that are out there in space between us and the sun. We pretty much follow Earth all the time. Like a trail, like a cop, like a, like a Halley's comet, pretty much with the tail, basically of Earth, basically somewhere from the Big Bangs, and then you can see how huge Venus is looking right now from all the sun from the, it's pulsing from the sun and the super giants, and there was some more star action again, below Venus, asteroid. Look how much Venus is looking bright in the, in the morning sky there. There's the sun and the super giants too, basically you know that that's not just the sun. Super giants, and you can also watch, and you'll see, uh, you'll actually see. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it, formal hot moving away in the very beginning. I'm trying to try to see if we can get that flash that came up just by Venus there. Watch by Venus is going to be it. there. It was right there by my cursor, but it, so watch this side of Venus when it gets up about here. Matter of fact, there was some more action over there, so there it was. So we're getting a pretty good show of the stuff going through Orion's tail. And as you see, that was very large. Very large and very bright, about 125 mark or 126. Let's see if I can capture it. And there it was. It's about as much as I can get to slow down to. So you're just going to have to rewatch the video, and I've seen another flash down here, too. And that's about as good as I can do, is just get it just before it. So keep watching these cameras. And I kind of get an interest of what might be going on in EMR now, too, to see if we get it uh, fresh. So. And you should be able to see that object that comes up right by the sun too. But they clipped out of there pretty darn fast from what I've been showing you. So as you'll see formal hot, you can watch formal hot move out of here. Check out all how huge it is. There goes formal hot. That's during the daytime. So we're not just getting the sun's light, folks. It's very easy to see that the idea that formal hot. A big sun, we get more sunlight than just the sun, and there it goes bye bye. And see how huge it is. And we'll go here to the end and see if we can freeze up as you see Venus go off. Super giants in the sun, and you got Spica. And it looks as if though you can see it again right here. And then it's doing a 3D effect up there, and this is the object that's out there. So let me small down to see if we can zoom in on that again. There's your object right there. And then it's doing this 3D effect up here. And there's some of your remnants. But that's just stuff that's out there between us and the sun. And there's your what's up there flopping around. And let's see if we can get it. I'll get I'll customize 800. Scoot over. And there it is. You can see it in the morning sky right there.
So we'll plop out. And you can see it, there it is there. And then we'll just plop down to like 125. And that's it right there, folks. That's your object right there. So you got Spike in Arcturus. And you also know the sun's right there. And you're still getting an actually get a double shot of that hologram of whatever that is that's in front of the sun. That's directly in front of the sun. So some wild action again from over the Hawaii webcam. Now we'll count there was 19 objects before the Tonight, when I first looked, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, still sitting at 19 objects, and as you can see, there's a pretty good show, especially here. These are pretty good size here. All this action here, so asteroids and comets flying by Earth, folks. Don't have time to check all the distances and stuff like that. But we'll pop into one just for the hell of it real fast, and we'll see. Four IU out, so... Latest black and white Lasco is from Navy, and you're going to be interested in this one here. And there has been an M class flare that came off. Okay, so the sun's still very active. And basically, the M flare is going to hit Mercury. So I'm figuring if the sun's still doing the action that it was doing when we had the M class, this is probably Mercury here, possibly. And as you can see, we've had an M-class flare, folks. Solar wind P speed is just starting to pick back up a little bit. Temperature's down. And also, we got to watch this here. This is us going through our angle that we're going through. And there's how wild the sun's looking. Some fresh shots. And there's how much the auroral's off on the North Pole and then South Pole, as you can see. And... There is our M-class flare that came off. It's going to hit, like I said, it's going to hit Mercury. Right there's your, Mercury's going to get that blast right there. It's going to get it directly on. So it'll be interesting to see in the footage. And I'll go show you the M class flare on charts. Uh, I don't need to show you the, it's not cross phasing yet, but it wants to. And there's your M. And I was telling you, if we're getting these C's, like we're going to get, we're going to pop up. Just didn't know we we're going to get the M class flare, as you can see right there. Big flare. Big M class. So the only thing others bigger is X or is the X class flare. And then they've got an empty one here that they're going to come up. So here's a map of the Oranoid, and the red splat is Earth, so that's where basically all this stuff is coming by Earth right now, okay? This is a recent map of everything that came by, okay? That's the 19th, and basically that's our M9 flare. There might have been another one besides what I showed you on the graph. And that's the asteroid that it entered. Talking about over out west, San Mateo. Surveillance cameras caught it. 5.3 out in the Cali, it looks like. So, so there's the earliest information I got on it, and that's what USGS showed on the, on the instantaneous on the map. So. We'll have to see what they show later.